Hi, crafty friends. You guys, I've had this lampshade forever. It was actually my grandma's and she gave it to me and it's the coolest thing. It almost looks like it's shell. It's like a shell, but it's kind of iridescent. It's so hard to describe. So anyways, I thought, you know what? We could totally make a faux one of these. So I just grabbed out this little garden dish uh, from the Dollar Tree and then we're using one of the hula skirts and I'm just going to cover the whole thing with the pieces from the hula skirt using lots of Mod Podge, of course. Um, but I kind of went all in one direction, just kind of like a wide um, part. And then I ended up turning it and did another section over the top because I wanted just those long lines to go over um, so that when we put the little, uh, see that little push button light right there from the Dollar Tree? I love those little things. So when we put that in there and we light it up, you will be able to see some of the parts where, you know, the raffia, I guess that's what this is kind of sort of, right? Um, you could see where it's thinner in some parts and thicker in some other parts. So here you can see where I turn it and then I just do that same thing and then you know, turn it again on its edges just so that I'm filling everything up. So once I get this all done and all covered, while my Mod Podge is still wet, I decided to grab out some of the uh, distressing spray in that gold. And I just started spraying over the top of it because my hopes was it's kind of that metallic-y gold when that dried um, and then, you know, uh, with the Mod Podge also drying at the same time, we would get kind of that iridescent kind of shelly look, shelly, shell-ish look <laughs> um, across there. So fingers crossed, I was like just a wing and a prayer at this point once I started that. I was like, I, I feel like it's going to happen, but you know, you just never know when you're crafting. You just never know. But you can also see there's that gold um, vase there that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'll end up turning that upside down. Oh, here's where the spraying started. This is where I was like, oh boy, here we go. A lot of time invested, but it ended up being really, really cool. Um, so we're going to use that gold vase. I'm going to actually flip it upside down so that that little uh, push button light can go in it, but I needed something to raise that up off of, I'm calling this the shade. And so what I decided to do is I grabbed these little um, craft sticks that I have and I just cut them down and then I will put, I, there's three of them, but I ended up grabbing another one. I thought I had four originally um, and putting those around. So that's what actually the shade will sit on. Now I cut them at three inches um, but I thought once I got them on there, I was like, mm, I probably should have gone like two, two and a half to have it sit a little bit farther down. I painted those as well. So here's how it turned out with the light on you guys. Isn't this the coolest thing? Oh, I love it. All right, friends. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to follow for more.